Mechanically stabilized earth or MSE walls are placed where elevation is needed at the ground or at grade level to transition to an elevated roadway or bridge construction. These walls consist of three main components, existing soil subgrade combined with embankment material, reinforcing elements, and precast concrete wall panels. Building the MSE wall is achieved layer by layer. Use of specific types of soil and subgrade material and correct soil placement are important factors when building the MSE wall. Each layer of the MSE wall embankment begins with soil subgrade preparation involving the placement and compacting of embankment material. Existing soil subgrade combines with embankment material to reinforce and support the roadway foundation and replace soil that has been removed during construction. Each layer is built to a specific thickness. Multiple layers of coarse granular material called fill are added to the original ground material to meet specific gradation, weight, and friction requirements. Large smooth drum rollers and handheld vibratory tamping machines compact each layer of embankment material to achieve desired compaction levels. Water trucks aid in achieving optimal soil moisture content which creates a stable structure. Reinforcing elements consisting of straps, grids, or mesh hold the MSE wall in position and are the second component of MSE wall construction. The concrete wall panels themselves do not provide the structure's stability. Rather, the wall's stability is derived from reinforcement straps placed within the embankment. The third MSE wall component, precast concrete wall panels, are held in place using geosynthetic straps that are attached to the wall panels. Initially, the concrete wall panels are intentionally angled slightly inward towards the reinforced fill to achieve accurate final vertical alignment once the fill placement is completed. The reinforced fill material consists of coarse granular sand that supports the wall while allowing water to flow through and exit the structure. This prevents moisture buildup beneath the roadway. Braces are set in place to support the precast concrete wall panels until several layers of soil subgrade, reinforcing elements, and fill are in place. Adjacent panels are then temporarily clamped together to prevent panel displacement. Filter fabric is placed over each joint between the panels to prevent fill loss and allow excess water to drain out of the MSE wall structure. The outside aesthetic finish of the MSE wall is constructed using coping panels. Coping panels tie in the top of the wall panels to the end bent cap and traffic pedestrian rails. When the 23rd Street flyover project is completed, there will be six sets of MSE walls constructed. Construction is scheduled for completion fall 2019. You can follow the 23rd Street Flyover's construction progress on Facebook and Instagram at My23rd Street Flyover. Or for more information, contact the Florida Department of Transportation, District 3 Public Information Office.